Finance and media magnate turned three-time New York mayor, 78-year-old Michael Rubens Bloomberg is currently seeking candidacy in the United States 2020 presidential elections as a Democrat. An unlikely party choice for the former New York mayor who was elected as both a Republican and an Independent between the years 2002 and 2013. A brief look at Bloomberg reveals a willingness to cross more than party lines. As he extends helping hands and funds to a vast network of charitable organizations, he is also called upon to take account for sexist transgressions in his professional career. Leading up to his candidacy announcement, Bloomberg held a position as CEO for his finance data and software company, Bloomberg LP. His long tenure at the company has been somewhat marred by a string of workplace harassment allegations and lawsuits, all of which have ended in settlement. Today, majority ownership of Bloomberg LP has grown Michael Bloomberg's net worth to an estimated $61.8 billion, a fortune which, despite philanthropic efforts bested only by Warren Buffett and Bill Gates, makes Bloomberg the ninth richest person in the United States. I am a big believer in giving it all away and have always said that the best financial planning ends with bouncing the check to the undertaker. Bloomberg's story begins in Massachusetts with parents William and Charlotte, who were second generation Jewish immigrants raising Michael and his sister Marjorie. He would begin his upper level education at Johns Hopkins University, earning a Bachelor of Science in Electrical Engineering. After finishing his education with an MBA from Harvard Business School, Bloomberg joined Wall Street. He would spend six years at the investment bank Solomon Brothers before rising to the general partner level, and eight more years thereafter until the acquisition of Solomon Brothers earned him a $10 million buyout of his stake in the company. Bloomberg's transformative work with computerized market systems began at Solomon, but only came to full fruition once he founded his own company. With the buyout money from Salomon, Bloomberg and three partners launched Innovative Market Systems in 1981. The IMS technology would allow Wall Street companies to access key financial data, graphs, and trends in speeds and depths unprecedented at the time. IMS offered these market master terminals to investment banks, beginning with their initial client Merrill Lynch. Over a decade before the widespread adoption of the internet, the ability to track financial data on stocks and other investment instruments became an indispensable asset for the financial district. These market master terminals would later be known as Bloomberg terminals, and IMS would later become Bloomberg LP. Leveraging his private wealth toward public office, Bloomberg ran a successful mayorship campaign as a Republican, refusing public campaign funds and spending $73 million of his own money to win office in 2002. In the aftermath of the September 11th attacks, the Bloomberg campaign argued that New York City needed the economic stewardship he could promise with his business background. Under Bloomberg's direction, city staff were huddled together in an open office plan, similar to a Wall Street trading floor. Bloomberg was re-elected twice, first in November 2005 by a margin of 20 points, then later in 2009, winning by four points while running as an independent. The second re-election required the amendment of New York City's term limits law. Handling the 2007 to 2008 financial crisis while strengthening essential services is a challenge I want to take on for the people of New York. So should the city council vote to amend term limits, I plan to ask New Yorkers to look at my record of independent leadership and then decide if I have earned another term. After a speculated but unrealized 2016 presidential candidacy, Bloomberg now appears on the 2020 stage under the scrutiny of the Democratic community. In providing a viable alternative to the embattled President Trump, Democratic pundits and voters are raising concerns about possible parallels with Bloomberg and the sitting president. In his 1997 autobiography, Bloomberg claimed that he had a girlfriend in every city, and the company that bears his name has been compared to a fraternity and its male employees' openly verbal flaunting of female boundaries. 64 women have been named in 40 lawsuits against Bloomberg LP for harassment or discrimination, and Bloomberg has been called upon for cultivating this boys club environment. Bloomberg carries multiple awards for public service and leadership, along with honorary degrees from nine universities. In his philanthropic efforts, Bloomberg has donated over $6 billion to charitable causes, and over $1 billion to his alma mater Johns Hopkins the latter in support of permanently allowing the university to enroll students who have no ability to pay tuition, 
all four of Bloomberg LP's founding partners, including Thomas Secunda, Duncan McMillan, Charles Zager, and Bloomberg himself, are signatory to the Giving Pledge. In accordance with this commitment, Bloomberg has pledged to donate the majority of his $60 billion wealth to philanthropic causes. To date, Bloomberg has spent over $400 million in pursuit of the Democratic nomination. His charitable giving is underpinned by support for progressive causes such as same-sex marriage and abortion rights, while his approach to regulation and law enforcement tends conservative. A former supporter of both the Iraq War and the Stop and Frisk policy, these are two positions he has since recanted. While the fluidity of Bloomberg's values and affiliations remain a topic of some criticism, his professional and political tenure garnered a significant upswell of centrist support on the eve of his late entry into the 2020 presidential race. You're watching Wiki now, and this has been the Mike Bloomberg Wiki. Subscribe for more videos about everything that matters to you.